Um, you know, we were talking a little bit before the show, and, and one of the things that, that came up, and as you were talking, I was thinking about this question, you know, words and labels are pretty important, and I think in all things, you know, and one of the mm-hmm. things that me and Cameron have come across by doing the podcast is this um, identification through one of the things that, like you talk about, is alcohol addiction versus what Cameron and I would say is alcoholism. Or, mm-hmm. you know, being an alcoholic versus alcohol free mm-hmm. or, or um, you know, the, these different labels. And how important do you think that is to the psyche or the way that people view themselves? Or is that something that I, you run into with your practice? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I think language is incredibly powerful. And with that, I think that we need to be really intentional with the words that we choose and the language that we use, especially when we're talking about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I want to also preface this by saying whatever works for people is what works for people. So if, if it works for you and alcoholic feels helpful and empowering, like use it. Absolutely. Use what works for you. And if it doesn't know that it's okay and you don't have to, Mm -hmm. like, I remember in my early days of getting sober, um, Prior to my own sobriety, I had gone to a few Al-Anon meetings just because of stuff with my dad. And I went to a few AA meetings and I said it, I said, hi, I'm an Amy, hi, I'm Amy and I'm an alcoholic. And I was like, this does not feel right. This doesn't feel right <laughs> in my body for me. And it wasn't about not having a problem because I very much had a problem in my relationship to drinking, but something about it just didn't feel right. And so I've never really taken it up and I've spent a lot of time thinking about what it means to apply a label like that to ourselves. And I think it can become almost part of our identity when we say I am something, right? I am an alcoholic versus I dealt with alcohol addiction, which is an experience. And for me, I feel like I had absolutely an alcohol addiction. It was terrible. It was ruining my life. It was definitely a problem for me. Um, But it doesn't feel like a core part of my identity that I will forever have to grapple with and deal with and all of those things. So I do think that language matters. I think that labels matter. I think that identity parts of us matter Mm -hmm. and again if it works for you and it feels helpful and useful like please do it right and that that will always be my answer to anything in terms of approaches to sobriety and how you live your life um but for me it didn't work and it didn't feel right putting that on myself um and so i i don't i choose not to Mm -hmm. 